Okay, hi everyone. Uh, this is going to be a normal unboxing, not an ASMR one, uh, because the last time I tried to unbox something big, it kind of was pretty bad for AMS ASMR, I think. So, as the title suggests, this is going to be an unboxing of the Hi-Fi Man HE1000 headphone, which is actually a planar magnetic headphone, except there's something special about it in that it uses a nano-thin diaphragm. So that's something that we haven't seen before in the world of uh, audiophile stuff, or just audio in general, is using a diaphragm that is of nanometer thickness. Now in comparison, an electrostatic headphone has a micron thick uh, diaphragm, which is a like hundred times, ten times larger. So it's kind of interesting to be able to see how Hi-Fi Man has really made this an innovation within the field. So that's just the shipping box, and once you unbox the shipping, you get this big brown box, and this uh, material on the outside is kind of a basketball leather feeling material. There's the uh, front face, kind of looks similar to the HE560 with this metal plaque here. So let's get this unboxed. Right as we open it, yeah. okay. Yeah, right as we open it, we get this uh, card with Chinese that I can't read. I'm guessing it might be the serial number or something. And on the back, I'm guessing there's warranty information, which again I can't read. On here, we have it looks like kind of a business card. And yep, has all their contact information. Ironically, this is in English and Chinese, whereas the warranty card, which I think is more important, is only in Chinese. So this is just a solid block of foam here. And inside, there's the HE1000 itself uh, with this foam insert. And we have a bundle of cables. So this is just the velour pouch, nothing too special. And this uh, humongous bundle of cables, it looks like we get three of them. So, interesting. It looks like the HE1000 uses just the standard 3.5 millimeter input jack there. So it's labeled L and R for left and right. And then it's terminated with a 90 degree plug here. Kind of an interesting design. Uh, I would have expected a straight jack, not a 90 degree one. So that's a bit of a interesting idea. This one is the same thing, but with a straight uh, 6.3 millimeter end. So this is for your larger stereo applications. This is actually a Nutric connector. So you might be able to unscrew this, actually. Yeah, just like so. So you can actually unscrew this and see uh, how this connector was put together. And then this final cable it also uses a Nutric connector, I believe. No? Yongshin brand. Anyway, this is a balance connector, so it's a 4 pin XLR balance connector. And again, the same 3.5 millimeter. Oh, this is, I'm sorry, 2.5, not 3.5. So this is a 2.5 millimeter jack, which is the stereo mini jack, the mini mini jack. Anyway, getting to the HE1000 itself. Here they are. This is the first time that I have unboxed this, not the first time that I've seen it in person, but you can go ahead and make your own judgment about how it looks. It does have swivel ear pads, 
or swivel ear cups rather that rotate 180 or 360 degrees. So it is very easy to manipulate on your head so that it can fit your head size, whether it's small or large. And then on the sides here, we have the headband, which is adjustable with some very solid clicks, as you can hear. So that would be the lowest configuration for the headband. And it does still look pretty large overall. Not sure if you can tell. Here's the headband. It's a what feels like a leather material, maybe suede. And it has holes in it to make it lighter so that it's not heavy on your head. It does seem to be pretty flexible. And it's able to rotate a little bit. The, uh, the sides here of the ear cup are actually wood. Looks pretty nice. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of wood, but this is a, I think it's a nice uh, aesthetic thing that they have. It's not very prominent and it does match the headband, so it does blend in pretty well. So just as a size comparison, here is my Stax SR207. So you can tell that the, uh, the ear cup is pretty large. Maybe just a bit longer than the Stax. The ear pads themselves, they're kind of like the HE560, uh, so it's a leather material on the outside and a velour material that touches your head and a perforated kind of leather material on the inside. Not sure if the camera will focus on that, but there's leather material with little holes on them. And then just like most planar magnetic headphones or open back headphones in general, you can actually see through the diaphragm Not sure if the camera will pick it up there, but at the bottom on the right, you can see my finger there. So this does use some new innovative designs for the magnetic side of the planar magnetic headphone, as well as the nano thin driver. So there are some special things about this headphone that they haven't completely revealed yet. And I'm glad to be able to participate in this beta test. So I want to thank Hi-Fi Man specifically for allowing me to participate in this event. Um, I definitely look forward to listening to this in more detail and I'll update you guys with a video review of my impressions. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching.